composition paragraph and essay writing paragraph writing let us try and write a paragraph that describes a situation the day i felt the earth spinning mom i can feel the earth spinning the day i felt my head reeling i thought that it was the end of the world i thought the world had begun spinning faster than usual i told my mother she said that i should go for a checkup why should i i thought nothing is wrong with me it is the earth that is going crazy but i didn't say it they took me to the doctor the doctor asked me if i had been keeping awake for long hours i said i hadn't slept well for days doctor asked me to sleep well and see him after 2 days i slept that night and woke up late in the morning the earth had stopped spinning Then I remembered what the doctor told me as I was leaving his clinic. It is your head that is spinning, not the earth. Give it a little rest. Now try these topics on your own and write a paragraph on each. Preparing for the examinations. Crossing a busy road. Traveling by a crowded bus. my best weekend my grandparents essay writing you have learned to write a paragraph on a given topic can you write three or four paragraphs on a topic certainly you can if you try how about writing five paragraphs on a subject you can can't you Essay writing means writing about 5 paragraphs on a given topic. But it is not just the size that is important. You need to begin and you need to end your essay. Then you need to say all you want to say about the topic in the middle, which is the body of the essay. Imagine you have to decide on a place of interest to visit as a class what do you do there are some suggestions made by your friends you discuss what is suggested there are arguments for and against you then discuss these points and come to a conclusion writing an essay in a composition work is also like that Let us try one right away. Our toys. We have our toys and they are really dear to us. Toys are our best friends. They don't quarrel, they don't fight. They are always happy to be with you. You don't have to please them. They are always pleased with you. We have our moods. Sometimes we are nice but sometimes we are cross or simply upset Toys are never cross You can't make them cry because they don't complain Toys are better than people That is why toys are the best as friends We have different kinds of toys rag dolls plastic toys wooden toys and so on Girls have their choice of toys from teddy bears to barbie dolls there is variety of toys available Boys have their own choice of toys My baby brother once got a lion cub as a toy He was so excited he showed it to all his friends but didn't share it with them When you are small parents relatives and others bring gifts on your birthday and new year and every other festival the gifts are usually toys in fact we wait for a new toy it is so disappointing 
if someone brings clothes or other things instead of a toy. When we grow up, we still have toys. Not teddy bears and Barbie dolls, but toy cycles and toy cars, with a toy mobile phone to go with them. We play imitating the grown-ups. We play many pretend games with these toys. We go to the market, do shopping and bargain with the imaginary shopkeeper. My friend's father is a musician. So, he imagines himself to be someone like his father and plays a music director with his toys. All the toys sit and listen to his concert which he directs and his imaginary artists play the music. It is a world of toys, but it is real for us. The grown-ups have their own toys. To my father, his car is his toy. He makes such a big fuss about it. He washes and cleans it and polishes it until it shines. You can see the reflection of your face. My mother is stuck to her computer. She spends more time with that than with us. But we don't mind because we are free to play our own games. My aunt has her mobile. That is her best friend. She keeps on talking to it, listening to it and getting worried if something goes wrong. Oh, I forgot to charge, she says and runs to get the charger as if it is the end of the world. They all have their toys. I wonder how life would be without toys. We will be ever so lonely, that is for sure. Who will play with us without complaining? Who will play with us whenever we want to? We sleep with the toys next to us and when we wake up, they are there, ready for us. We are happy with our toys and our grown-ups are happy with their own toys. We don't hurt each other, but we hear of strange things. There are strange people who have made strange toys for themselves. These are dangerous toys, they say. They can hurt others and cause big harm too. People may get killed, they say. I can't believe anyone can like such toys. But these toys are made in strange factories and they are bought and sold in strange shops. Toys are made for making you happy, for making everyone happy, not for hurting others. These are bad toys of bad people. All the children should join together and say, Stop making bad toys. You can see in this example how to write an essay on a topic. Even a simple topic can be taken seriously and written with a beginning, middle and an end, the conclusion. You can see a pattern. First, you find some general remarks on the topic in the first paragraph and then it is elaborated. It says something more in connection with what is already said. In the example, you can see how the toy is described as a friend, followed by the reasons why you feel that they are friends, even better than humans. You can see the development of something like an argument, comparing it and contrasting it with others. Then the essay talks about the toys of others, the elders, how they are different but not very different. Finally, it ends with a message to the whole world. You can see how this essay moves from the world of the child to the world of the grown-ups and expands into the world of other grown-ups in the outside world. There is a strong message from the children to the adults. Stop making bad toys.